Hey everyone, it's the Y Guy. Back again with another video, and today I'm gonna be doing one of the most requested things that I do on my YouTube channel. All in the arena slash mortal frag or you no know, molten fragment locations. This is gonna be another very popular or kind of like another one just like my um, midnight fragments link is in the description if you need the help with those so make sure you subscribe leave a like and turn on the notification bell for daily content and remember i do have an instagram account and a merch shop if you want to go um follow me on there and purchase some merch um so yeah let's get straight into the video for the first one i will be showing you what you gotta do i have completed most of these so the rest of them you will not be seeing gameplay for or very little gameplay and so just do what i do on the first one for every single one and let's show the first one okay so this is gonna be the first one aka the arena of hold on it is going to be the arena of the arena of heroism and it's going to be located right here in the valley of eternal springs now this is going to be the one where i'm showing you what to do for every single one so you're going to want to jump in to the portal wait for it to load obviously and once you jump in you're going to be tasked with this now d don't die like I have multiple times trying to jump from these and after that you will be meet, met with this checkpoint now the chest is located over there which will have the molten fragment in it so how you're gonna get the molten fragment is to actually go up and battle these creatures so so there will be multiple phases, at least for this one, a couple of phases. Now some of them only have like one phase or like more. Uh, there's only two that have um, one phase, so you're going to want to battle um, or prepare for multiple battles in all of these arenas. I will tell you which ones only have one phase be because those... And also the ones that only have one face will usually be the hardest. And so you're just going to re... Now these are just meant to retest your skills in the game. They're, they're kind of like... Um, I, it's hard to explain. But they are massively like... Um, do fight challenges. And if you fall down here, you're going to want to use Ares Wrath to get back up. So you do not die of fall damage. So, after you defeat the last enemy, the gates will open. Now, of course, you're going to have the temp temptation to run all the way to the gates. But, as you can see, a lever will always activate right beside it. It will usually be always over here. So, after you activate this lever, a bonus phase. As you see, with this bonus phase, it's a little bit, um like um i forget what these are called but these this will spawn and you need to take out this bonus face after the bonus face the chest will become open to you so as you can see then this and also you will need to know how to use your um your like glide ability in case you don't or you won't be able to get these and so yeah up here then you want to do that and boom as you can see we got the modern fragment now these are also a pretty good way to get free lightning as you can see right over here uses lightning in case you need some skills to still upgrade now uh let's just go straight on to the second one out of all of them Okay, for your second vault location, it's going to be the vault arena of fortitude. It will be located right here, again, in the Valley of Eternal Springs. It's generally close to the Hall of the Gods. So, just glide over here, and you will be set for the second one. Now, let's go on to the third one. Okay, for your next location, it's going to be located right here 
and at the Arena of Agility. It will be located right here at the Grove of Kedos. Here's a couple shots so you know exactly where to go. And as your fourth location, no, 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 third location. So let's go on to the fourth location. Okay, for your fourth location and your fourth molten fragment, it's gonna be right here at the Arena of Humidity. Here's a couple shots, like usual, so you know exactly where to go. And let's go on to the fifth location. Okay, everyone, this is the fifth location, AKA, again, I don't have it on my map, but this is gonna be the Arena of Champions. This is gonna be the one with only one phase, one out of two. So just be careful of that when you're completing it. And let's go on to the sixth location. Okay, for your next location, aka location number six, the Arena of Wisdom, it will be located right here. Okay, for your next Molten Fragment location, it is going to be a little bit of a puzzle to get into. So what you're going to want to do immediately is this. And I know you could technically cut this as a little bit of cheating the system. Just a little bit, maybe. Um, hold on, I just need to get it little bit more push it okay and then you want to use phosphorus clone hold down this and boom you have your next location and let's go to the next location okay so the next one the arena of bravery will be located right here okay on to the next one okay so your next arena Arena location, aka the Arena of Legends, will be located right here. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, now for your final location, aka your final Molten Fragment, it's going to be located right here. And if you're worried about this area, King's Peak, and not being able to get into it, this is in an area that is accessible to not end game players. So it is right here. And I will show you now how to actually put all the molten fragments together. Okay, so after you have collected every single molten fragment, you really want to come up here. And this is how you're going to actually combine them. You want to be on the underworld overhaul. Um, you want to be on the last one of the underworld overhaul and be on Death Becomes Phoenix. Then you can accept and congratulations, you have put together all the pieces of armor and this is what they look like in game. So let's show you. Uh, this is going to be the blue style, which I'd say is a pretty nice style for this. So we just have to go to the customization of that and then all the way at the bottom. This is what it looks like in the game everybody. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for daily content. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.